Scripture, the finest frontier. These are the voyages of Skylab Omega, its five-month mission to spread the gospel across the galaxy, to share God's love with civilization, to boldly go where one Savior has gone before. Come with us now as we blast through the Bible with Commander Cosmos, Space Ranger. Way officer approaching, all hands on deck for Commander Cosmos, Space Ranger. I meant to do that. At ease, men. Lieutenant Dan, please check our coordinates. Aye, aye, Commander. <sighs> we are now entering the galaxy of Samaria. Excellent. We should be approaching planet Jerusalem in no time at all. Well, that's just what I'm afraid of. Why, Lieutenant Dan. I thought that you were excited about exploring new places. Well, I am, but it's just that I know that, that Jerusalem's really far off, and, huh. and not everyone's going to speak our language. And, and what, what, what will I say to them? Start with hello. Well, of course, but what I mean is that we have, we have ambassadors from every country on Earth at all of these space stations and all of these planets and all these different galaxies. I just mean, how, how can we give them the Word of God to all these different people? Fear not, Dan Sonicloud. The Holy Spirit of God will give us the words. How can you be so sure? I checked the flight manual, and it tells me that all people who follow Jesus will have the Holy Spirit of God. Here, I'll get it out and show you right now. Oh, wow. You know, communication is not a new obstacle, Dan, Lieutenant Dan. Uh, God has dealt with this kind of thing before. He has? Oh, yes. And here is a great example. On the day of Pentecost. What's a Pentecost? Oh, about one cent. <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> oh, I killed him. I don't get it. Okay. Actually, Pentecost was a holiday that the Jewish people celebrated. But on this day of Pentecost... Peter and all of the apostles that Jesus had chosen were gathered together. Oh, were they all waiting again? <laughs> they were, just as Jesus had told them to do. They were waiting for the Holy Spirit of God to come. But on this day, there was a huge crowd of people gathered, and they all spoke different languages right there in Jerusalem. Wow, that is just like our situation. Mm. <laughs> Did Peter and all of them learn all these languages at school? No. Huh, well, how could they speak to each other? The Holy Spirit came, just as Jesus had promised he would. So the Holy Spirit just came and everyone suddenly spoke Hebrew? No. It was a little more spectacular than that. I'll tell you what, let me use the computer to show you and simulate these verses. Computer, can you please simulate the verses that I'm about to read? When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Oh, that's like a Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Wow, that sounded like a spaceship taking off. <laughs> yes. Imagine how amazed the people of Jerusalem must have been. Oh, yeah, but, but it must have been really confusing hearing all those strange languages all at once. Well, that's the miraculous thing. The Bible says each one heard them speaking in his own language. Wow, so the Holy Spirit helped them understand each other? That's what happened. And Peter used that special gift of the Holy Spirit to tell everyone about how our Lord Jesus had died and come back to life to save us all from our sins. Wow, what did that crowd of people do? They asked themselves that very same question. They said, brothers, what shall we do? And what did Peter tell them? I'll open up the virtual Bible, and we can all read it together. All right. The Bible says, Peter replied, repent 
and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off. For all whom our Lord God will call. Wow, so that means the gift of the Holy Spirit is for everyone. Mm, everyone who follows Jesus. That's what I've been trying to tell you. No, I mean everyone. This verse says that it's, it's for them and for their children. And for every generation that came after them. Well, hey, that's us. And it also says that it's for people who are far off, like living in other countries. And... Or people living on space stations on other planets. Well, what are we waiting for? There's people on the planet Jerusalem waiting to hear about God's <laughs> Holy Spirit. Amen, Lieutenant Dan. Full speed ahead. Aye, aye, Commander. All right, kids, see you next time. And until then, remember, Jesus is the same yesterday, yesterday today, and forever. And forever.